Sorry, members only. Welcome to the eye. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 secret societies in movies. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. For this list, we're choosing the most memorable big screen secret societies, some of which are entirely fictional creations, while others are based on actual secret societies. Come with us into liar's hell. Number 10, the Adjustment Bureau. The Adjustment Bureau. I think that's the chairman's real plan. That maybe one day, we won't write the plan. The Adjustment Bureau makes sure that everyone follows the plan. Why do you want to keep us apart? Because the plan says so. Citizens who inadvertently stray from their planned lives are quickly brought back into line or dealt with. You're not even a cop, are Sir. you? You're one of them. Calm down. Okay, you know, someone could have been questions. killed. In this romantic sci-fi thriller, this bureau has kept all of mankind on track since the Dark Ages. We step back to see how you do on your own. You gave us the Dark Ages for five centuries, until finally we decided we should come back in. So, whether a cup of spilled coffee was supposed to make you miss a bus, or you were simply meant to wake up a little later than usual, this secret society needs you not to stray from what you were supposed to be doing. Mystery much? Kiss. That's all it takes? A real kiss. That happens every possible adjustment strong enough to break them up and cause ripples over your limit. Number 9. The Fraternity Wanted. Welcome to the fraternity. This fraternity is far from a group of drunken frat boys. The age-old order from this action thriller is comprised of an elite group of superhuman assassins that have their secret headquarters in a textile mill. A thousand years ago, a clan of weavers discovered a mystical language hidden in the fabric. The fraternity is led by the elderly Sloane, who reads the names of assassination targets through errors in the fabric weaved by the loom of fate. We call this the loom of fate. These murders are supposed to bring balance to the world, but just as with many secret societies of its kind, things are later revealed to be not as they seem. What happened? A member of this fraternity went rogue. Cross. Number eight, Neighborhood Watch Alliance, Hot Fuzz. Well, all that remains is to welcome you to the weekly meeting of the Neighborhood Watch Alliance. The Neighborhood Watch Alliance, or NWA, pokes fun at the conspiracy about the NWO, or New World Order. Nicholas, this is Tom Weaver. Civilian liaison with the Neighborhood Watch Alliance. You'll find that we run a very tight ship here. It's a more than meets the eye Neighborhood Watch in the English village of Sanford that lives to do everything for the greater good. I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about the others. What others? The others the NWA have murdered! So much so, that this alliance of uber upright citizens has taken to killing all manner of social deviants, such as vagrants, carnies, and teenage hoodlums. Why? The NWA needs to maintain Sanford's rep and win the Best Village Award. Is it any wonder they keep these things secret? For the last 20 years, the village has been controlled by Frank and the NWA. They've, they've lulled everyone into thinking this is a perfect village and killed anyone who's threatened to change that. Number seven, Transylvanian Convention, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Hello. The Transylvanian Convention is a psychedelic gathering fueled by intergalactic transsexuality. So, come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. I see you shiver with anticipation. This annual meeting is held at the castle of its host, mad scientist Dr. Frank N. Furter, who just so happens to be an alien transvestite himself. Give yourself over to absolute pleasure. Dr. Furter's guests dress in sexually charged outlandish costumes. For tonight is the night that my beautiful creature is destined to be born! To make matters even more interesting, Dr. Furter is secretly engineering the ultimate muscle man, the mostly mute Rocky Horror. Give me a strong man. How is that for a memorable secret society? Number six, the skulls, the skulls. Here we go. Bow your heads, the skull. Uh. It's tough to tell when the secret society ends and the university begins. This big screen, academic secret society is heavily based on conspiracy theories 
relating to Yale University's Skull and Bones. Skull above any other. Louder. A skull above any other. Not just anyone can join the group, as it's typically reserved for the sons of social and political elites. Uh, direct question, direct answer. Are you a skull? Are you a skull? I don't know. The skulls possess an intensive initiation process, a private ritual room, and they make or break future leaders. I'm Judge Lytton Mandrake, and on behalf of the council, welcome. Members are more than willing to kill outsiders who get too close to their secrets, staging these murders as suicides. Our obligation to the skulls to keep our O's all would have been ruined because of an accident. So, we took this accident and made it look like a suicide. To put it mildly, these guys are what you'd call dangerous scholars. <laughs> Number five, the Priory of Sion, the Da Vinci Code. The Mona Lisa is right over here. The Priory of Sion has a real life counterpart. However, this secret society was fictionalized for entertainment's sake in this mystery thriller. Well, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Led by a reclusive Grand Master, who just so happens to be the head curator of the Louvre, this ancient intellectual organization is dedicated to returning Christianity to its supposed more feminist origins, a theological difference that the Roman Catholic Church allegedly repressed. Masha, until that moment in history, Jesus was viewed by many of his followers as a mighty prophet, as a great and powerful man, but a man, nevertheless, a mortal man. The group is highly secretive and communicates through a variety of encrypted means, with the murdered Grand Master writing his last message in a coded Fibonacci sequence. O oh, draconian devil, O oh, lame saint. It's, it's a phrase, it doesn't mean anything, not to me. Number four, the League of Shadows. Batman begins, the Dark Knight rises. The path of the League of Shadows. <laughs> the League of Shadows is a group of assassins determined to make society pure. They believe that mankind should always maintain a balance and that they are fundamentally devoted to rooting out corruption through its very destruction. You cannot lead this man unless you are prepared to do what is necessary to defeat evil. They caused Rome's downfall, destroyed medieval kingdoms with the Black Death, and now they're bent on eliminating Gotham City. As Gotham's favored son, you will be ideally placed to strike up the heart of criminality. Now, Gotham's time has come. In Batman Begins, Bruce Wayne briefly studied with their leader, Ra's al Ghul, but quickly turned on him upon discovery of their true aim. Ra's al Ghul rescued us from the darkest corners of our own hearts. What he asks in return is the courage to do what is necessary. I will go back to Gotham and I will fight men like this, but I will not become an executioner. Then, as Batman in The Dark Knight Rises, Bruce later has to contend with Roz's legacy when Gotham City is threatened by the League's most powerful fighter, Bane. Your punishment must be more severe. Number three, Fight Club, Fight Club. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. Fight Club is bent on living on eight rules, one quarter of which involve not talking about what they do. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. What we do know is that the underground society was started to simply allow members to fight each other for the sheer adrenaline rush. Who the fuck are you? Tyler Durden. As more clubs spread throughout the world, these societies become unified under the umbrella of Project Mayhem. In Project Mayhem, we have no names. Dedicated to anti-materialist and anti-corporate sentiments, the violent group develops into an extremely well-organized political movement and things quickly and surely get out of hand. Number two, Brotherhood of the Cruciform Sword, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Ask yourself, why do you seek the cup of Christ? This ancient order is committed to preventing the world from finding the Holy Grail used by Jesus during the Last Supper. The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones. The chalice used by Christ during the Last Supper. The cup that caught his blood at the crucifixion. In the third indie flick, Indiana Jones finds himself not only on the run from Nazis, but also from the guardians of this secret society that are intent on assassinating him. And why were you trying to kill me? The secret of the Grail has been safe for a thousand years. And for all that time, the Brotherhood of the Cruciform Sword have been prepared to do anything to keep it safe. After a high-speed boat chase in Venice, the Brotherhood realizes that Indy is not their enemy and eventually comes to his aid, squaring off against the Nazis in the Canyon of the Crescent Moon. A canyon of the Crescent Moon. 
before we reveal the secrets of our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Dumbledore's arm is supposed to be about doing something real. Or was that all just words to you? Maybe you don't have to do this all by yourself, mate. There is a legend of a secret aura born in ancient Egypt called the Eye. My husband, Michael, left for the supermarket at a quarter past nine in the morning. He was found with no money and no clothes in the East River three days later. I find this article. It's written in 2003, published in Time magazine. It's all about um, this thing called the Tarsus Club, which is like a, a retreat for politicians, for corporate leaders, people like For over a hundred years, Skull and Bones members have included a president, vice presidents, Supreme Court justices, congressmen and senators, captains of science and industry, the very best of America. Number one, unnamed secret society, eyes wide shut. You will kindly remove your mask. The unnamed secret society that holds a gigantic orgy in eyes wide shut pushes our list to the limit. You must go now. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. To be part of this group, you need to don a costume and a mask, and you must know two passwords so that you can get into one of their exclusive mansion parties. Good evening. Passwords, sir? Fidelia. Thank you, sir. This society has a master of ceremonies, possesses formal sexual rituals, and its members are supposedly extremely powerful individuals. Remove your clothes, or would you like us to do it for you. And while it is inherently about hedonistic sexual pleasures, its members are not afraid to intimidate and even potentially kill those that threaten their secrecy. Let him go. Take me. Sexy and deadly, it's hard not to forget this secret society from Stanley Kubrick's last film. And that's what puts it on top of our list. When a promise has been made here, there is no turning back. Do you agree with our list? Looking at that, I don't see you have a choice. What are your favorite secret societies in the movies? Members of the League of Shadows. <laughs> and you betrayed us. For more excellent top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Or, these guys are going to take your balls. Okay.